We told you we were doing an unboxing video and that's what you're getting. We also went down to the Apple store this weekend to get some footage of all their new releases, but they told us we couldn't record. So we needed a new game plan. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what Apple told us and what we did about it. What's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hector and this is where we talk about tech tips, news and reviews. Just a little reminder, if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe, and smash that bell notification icon. That way you can get notified each time I release a video. All right, so what we got for you is an unboxing of the iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple. The videos were taken with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I'm gonna admit, it did pretty well. The phone came in the usual white Apple box with the phone and the lightning to USB-C charging cable. Apple still doesn't provide a power adapter, so if this is your first iPhone, be prepared to be on the market for a USB-C power adapter. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is equipped with a 48 megapixel camera and a 12 megapixel front facing camera. They got rid of the traditional SIM card tray and introduced an eSIM. So if you open the box and you're looking for a SIM card, well, you're not gonna find it. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is equipped with a beautiful OLED display that's just breathtaking right out of the box that Apple has claimed to be dust, finger, splash, and waterproof. Apple has also removed the top notch from the iPhone and have introduced what most would call a pill, but Apple has decided to call it the Dynamic Island. If you would like to know more about the specs on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, we covered that in one of our last videos. I'll leave a link to the video in the top corner right here or in the description area down below. Moving on now, we decided to head down to the Apple store in Nashville, Tennessee. And let me tell you, we could couldn't have picked a better day to go. The sun wasn't so strong and the temperature was a perfect 80 degrees. Most people would say that it was a perfect day to hang out in downtown Nashville. But then we arrived at the Apple store. We waited in line until an Apple associate could get to us. We introduced ourselves and informed them that we wanted to do a video on all the releases that they released the day before. And he basically said that that's good and all. We can browse around, but they didn't allow us to record anything inside. They said it was something about store policy. So that's when my team panicked. What are we going to do? We have to head back in a couple hours. We came all the way down here for nothing. But Hector, the video was supposed to take place in the Apple store. So what I said to my group is, all right, everybody gather around. As your great and noble leader, I will not fail you. But most of all, we cannot fail our subscribers. We will make this video happen. And that's what we did. <laughs> We have an iPhone 14 Pro Max and we're in Nashville. So I thought to myself and I informed my troops. This video has just gone from an Apple Store iPhone 14 series review to an iPhone 14 Pro Max camera review in cinematic mode. And that reminds me to remind you to leave a like, subscribe, and smash that bell notification icon if you've liked the video so far. Back to the show. So like always, I saved the day again. And to take the stress off, I told my team to just take the day off and just start recording our day in Nashville with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, of course. So we started browsing around the Apple store and well, they didn't say anything about taking pictures. Here's a segment that one of our team members calls the many faces of Hector using the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera. Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. Now, we started off by going to a restaurant that I've never been to before called Another Broken Egg. The wait time was about an hour, so we decided to head around the area and take a few shots. We decided to visit the old Rodizio Grill location. I'm not sure if you know, but there was an incident on December 25th, 2020 that caused the area to be completely closed off to the public. I like to come here and remember the all-you-can-eat steak and the caramelized pineapple. You can tell that the iPhone does a pretty good job at focusing between the fence and the building. We were also surprised to see that there were so many party buses this early in the morning. As you can see, the people of Nashville bring a lot of positive energy. Like myself, of course. We also didn't realize that we were at the base of the AT&T building. Or should I say, the Batman Tower. Anyone I know has always referred to this building as the Batman Tower. It wasn't until about five years ago that I found out that this was actually the AT&T Tower. We also took a bunch of random footage nearby. So here's some random footage in cinematic mode. I 
I saw this alley from across the street and I thought there was gonna be something cool and interesting to shoot. But once we got there, you can tell that there really wasn't much. So at this point, we decided to go back and see if our reservation was ready. This was my first time eating chicken and waffles and to be honest, it wasn't that bad. After we were finished eating, we decided to walk the food off by taking a stroll on Broadway. As you can see, Nashville stays pretty busy. Positive energy is always expected from the party buses, much like myself. As you can see, the autofocus is very sensitive. If you've been having this issue, leave a comment down below in the comment section. If you've never been to downtown Nashville, this place is always crowded and alive. The best time to come is closer to nighttime, when there's a Predators game, or there's multiple bachelor or bachelorette parties going on. Now, there were some things that I didn't like about the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera. One, there were times when I wanted to focus on an item, but it was focusing on everything around it. I'm pretty sure there's a setting that can help with this that I don't know about. If there is, leave a comment down in the comment section. And two, the amount of blur that I got from these two shots. The blur looks very artificial, but the good thing is, you can always adjust this in post-production even after you finish recording your video. And that about wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. This is the first time that our team has gone out in public to record. If you haven't seen my last two videos, hit the links right here above my head. If you have any questions about the iPhone 14 Pro Max, let me know down in the comment section. I wanna thank you guys for sticking to the end of this video. And also, if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe, and smash that bell notification icon. That way you can get notified each time I release a video. I'll see you guys next time.